show you how to make this awesome super sized triangle shelf. If you've got a lot of stuff that you just don't know where to put, like plants and frames and books, this shelf is perfect. I only came across these triangle shelves by scrolling Pinterest. I've never actually seen one in a store or for sale anywhere. So that makes it the perfect DIY. These trendy shelves only cost $50 to make and were surprisingly easy, and I cannot wait to show you how. The first thing I did was turn my saw to make a 30 degree cut, and then I cut three pieces at seven feet. Make sure you flip each piece of wood between cuts so that your ends are angled in towards each other. I'm using one by 10 pine. I'm gonna countersink my holes so that I can use flathead wood plugs to fill my screw holes later. I used a scrap piece of wood to help mark where my holes need to go so that they were all the same distance from the end of the board. I put mine about a half inch back from the edge. Then I taped my drill bit at about 5 eighths of an inch so that I didn't go too deep. I used inch and a quarter screws to assemble my triangle. Then I measured the center height of my triangle and divided it by the number of shelves I wanted and marked approximately where they should go. I cut the pieces for my shelves and laid them in place. Then I used the same drill bit as before and drilled my countersink holes for all of the shelf pieces and then screwed them together. I used a level and a pocket square to make sure everything was flat and straight as I was assembling it. I used flathead wood plugs to fill all of the screw holes. I just put a little bit of wood glue around the edges and then pushed them in and hammered them down gently to finish the job. So this triangle shelf is coming together way better than I thought it would. I thought that the angles and everything and all the measurements would kind of throw me off, but not at all. It has been like the best build ever. Anyway, let me show you how it's going. So everything is glued and screwed and the holes are all filled. I just need to sand it and paint it and then figure out what to put on it. <laughs> anyway, I'm super excited for this. Once the glue was dry, I sanded the entire unit. I decided to paint my shelf white, so I used bin to cover up all of the knots and prevent them from bleeding through. If you decide to stain your piece, skip this step. more super trendy, budget friendly ways to decorate your home. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss next week's video where I show you how to make this awesome pipe lamp with a water valve handle and a cell phone holder.